Hey everybody, welcome back to Miscellaros. Today we bring for you all our experience in this video using this nice smart watch. We're talking about the new Huawei Watch GT4. Enjoy with us this video, then we're talking about all our experience using the new Huawei Watch GT4. Let's go. We begin this review by pointing out that to get the most of the Huawei Watch GT4, we must link it to the Huawei Health Hub. We wish the link between the smartwatch and your smartphone is greatly improved. To do this, the watch displays a QR code that allows easy linking for your smartphone in case you have a Huawei smartphone. It will take you to the Huawei App Gallery. While in case of Android, it will take you to the Google Play Store. On the other hand, if you use iPhone like us, it will take you to the App Store from where you can download the app without any kind of problems. Probably like us, once the link has been established between the two devices, it will perform a firmware update, as there must obviously be Harmony OS security updates for the smartwatch. The operation of the watch is independent of the app. This means you don't need to be all the time with the phone and watch near to you to work. In fact, in my experience, many times for many days, I will go out without my phone to run in runs or ride a bike. But now of approaching both devices generated synchronization to update on both sides. Most of the time, yes. Sometimes that process had to be done manually and not automatically something that can be improved in the next firmware update. Now, this link brings several advantages, from synchronizing all your contacts, all your notifications, notifying you of notices and calendar alerts, as well as incoming call alerts will all be reflected in your smartwatch. Moreover, all records captured by the smartwatch will be sent to the application as soon as the both devices are synchronized, so that we can record all our progress our sport progress and have records of all active and passive health measurements. That does this smartwatch such as a measuring sleep time or heart rate while you sleep. Some of these applications have the option to work actively and passively. That is, they will measure what you indicate consciously or being active, such as heartbeat and blood oxygen, but this application will measure passively. That is, they will continue to measure you, but without you noticing, in the background, monitoring your health levels, as this same application mentioned above, will continue measuring your heartbeat and blood oxygen while you sleep. That is why we say that they are applications and sensors that measure in an active passive way. That is, you can measure yourself by your own will while awake and conscious, as well as when you are sleeping and unconscious or you can be working in front of the computer and in any way you will be measuring your health levels without interrupting your activities. The application will record all your health data generated by your body and your daily activities, such as heart rate, blood oxygen level, daily step count, number of calories burning around the day, numbers of liters of water ingested, number of calories and protein consumed, hours of sleep, kilometers traveled either walking, running or cycling, among other measurements. Some of these measurements are done automatically by the watch for you. Others must be entered by you in the application, such as the number of liters of water you drank around the day, as well as the amount of food consumed to generate the calorie count calculation. This record can be observed and studied through your detailed graph that indicates metrics by day, weeks and month, giving a breakdown of each activity in maximum detail. So, if you are a very athletic, this watch is ideal for you. 
On the other hand, we see that through this application you can also customize some options of the smartwatch, such as the covers that are offered within the same application, some of them free and others paid. You can also see a series of sport plans that are paid to improve the experience in the development of exercise by Huawei to its users. There are maps and routes that we can define through GPS, which we can follow running or cycling. But for this, it is necessary that you are always with your phone with internet because the watch by itself doesn't have internet. Then to fulfill this purpose, it's necessary to go running or cycling with the phone to follow a road that you have previously specified. Or you can also do as I did many times. I went out free routes and then the watch recorded them on my phone automatically. As an experience of use, it was quite pleasant that motivating to break records day by day or compare the results of one week with the others and get medals. I started the month weighing 100 kilos and ended up weighing 96 kilos, maintaining a sport routine that only consisted of cycling. So if you are even more athletic, you should have better results than me. Let's look at the aesthetic part of the Huawei Watch GT4. As you can see on the screen, it has a beautiful octagonal shape, a steel body quite resistant, a crowd with an inscription indicating the name of the brand. Unfortunately, the sum of the camera doesn't accompany us much in this shot. We can also see that in the lower part of the body there are some holes that we think should be for the exit of the water in case you have entered water at the time of swimming. It has a beautiful AMOLED screen with an excellent brightness that we will comment on that. And on the back, it also has a beautiful glass that is beautiful, but with so much physical activity, it is easy to get dirty. The feeling on the breast is quite nice. The weight it has at most imperceptible and personally the clamps of the bottom of my watches always end up scratching because you always rest your breast on the surface, either to type, to write or do other activities. It was not the case of this watch GT4. I assume that this clamp must also be made of steel, but as you can see, it has no scratches something that speaks of the excellent quality of the construction of the materials. That if it's recommended that unlike the rest of the watches that are used a little looser due to sweating issues, to the Huawei Watch GT4 use as tight as possible, so that the sensor has a correct reading of the symptoms of your body, because if it is moving or sliding on your wrist, we have erroneous readings. As you can see, the bag is very dirty. That's because I came from cycling and went through many dirt roads. Therefore, what is shown there is the mixture of sweat, dust and other elements for sure. As you can see after an intense activity, it is quite dirty. Not only the back, but also part of the steel body gets dirty with some physical activities. This is for example, will never happen with swimming. For example, but it will happen if you run or do tracking or cycling like me. Probably all of the review, of, as you can see, no one talks about this, but you should keep in mind, because they are true that occur, and this demonstrate the real build quality of a smartwatch and the condition to which it must be subjected. In any review, they will tell you the obviously the straps by sweet acquired and unpleasant odor, and that is typical in all sport watches. But here, in Miscellabros, we always tell you the truth. This also happens to us with our uh, Apple Watches. Therefore, the recommendation is that in addition to constantly cleaning your Huawei Watch GT4, you buy accessory strap to change them from time to time. Changing the watch strap is a fairly simple process. At the bottom of each of them comes a kind of switch that when loaded to one end makes the clamp that fits the watch slides and allows you to easily remove the strap from the body of the watch. As you can see, it is quite simple to remove the straps from the watch and those facilities the cleaning process that we will show you now. To give a proper maintenance to your Huawei Watch GT4, we recommend that cleaning it with a little isopropyl alcohol. It is an alcohol that is volatile and easy to evaporate, therefore disinfect and does not damage the electronic devices. Apply the alcohol to a cotton ball, never directly to the product, and then clean the body of the watch, as well as the strap. If the duration was too long and it was impregnated in the straps, the recommendation will be to watch with warm water and neutral soap 
through the strap of your watch. As you can see, the cleaning process is quite simple. It is disinfecting and mounting the strap to the body is very simple as you have seen. We now begin our user experience by reviewing the options that appear on the clock by sliding a finger down. There we can see that several options appear, 9 in total, which we will detail below. The first of them is settings and it is an option that you can access in several ways that you will see through this video. This option reflects all the possibilities of watch settings, such as brightness, sound, vibration, Bluetooth connection, security pin, notifications, updates, among others. Further down, we have the options to keep the screen active for a number of minutes. This watch allows the option to have the screen active through all the day, something that we will drain your battery very faster. And by default, this option is turned off. So, in this option, you can tell your watch that you want the screen not to turn off for 5, 10, 15 or 20 minutes. Another quick option offered is a shortcut to alarms, where you can manage your alarms to wake up faster. The next option we will review will be the flashlight option, which will not project a beam of light from your watch but will illuminate something while you are in absolute darkness. For the 2010 earthquake here in Chile, we were left in the dark and I would love to have a had a smartwatch with this option during this event. They are really functionalities that are appreciated. You can customize with some predefined color in the color palette to activate this flashlight. Or you can choose one within some broader pattern of colors, like the options we are showing you on the screen. With this color sphere that gives you a range of uh, 16 million colors for you to choose the color of your flashlight. Plus, it has a blanking option. The sleep mode option is activated so that you will not be interrupted with sounds or vibrations while you have it active, but it will notify you of scheduled calls or alarms. It is like a concentration mode. The local screen option does what its name suggests. It does not allow you any kind of interaction with the screen. Even if you pass your finger over it, the only way to unlock is to use the crown on the right side to unlock your Huawei Watch GT4. As for notification, as you can see, they are checked from the bottom up. In case you are using any app inside the watch, the incoming notifications will appear at the bottom of your watch face so it does not interrupt you. Unfortunately, in iOS the experience is not very good. It only allows you to see the notifications and delete them, with some Androids offer the option to respond with some emoji or even the able to respond, but unfortunately in our case we can only see the notifications. Now, this is not Huawei responsibility, but Apple's who do not allow more interaction. But otherwise, this smartwatch is the one that seems to us to the, be the most versatile and has greater integration with all brands. One of the things I like it the most is that it notifies me of everything in different language. You know that all my devices are configured in English. One of the things I like it the most is that it notifies me of everything in different language. As you know that I'm, all my devices are configured in English, but for purpose of this video, I set the watch in Spanish. And all the notifications were delivered to me in Spanish, but the notification system of the Huawei Watch GT4 respect the notifications of the sender, in this case, an iOS update notification. As you can see, the notification comes out on the phone and on the watch at the same time in the original language of the notification. Just wonderful. Another option to take into consideration is to drain which is to expel water from the watch in case you have done swimming or you have submerged somewhere. This watch is water resistant, reaching 15 meters. As you can see here, the process of expelling water is quite simple and in the end of it, ask you to shake the watch to expel the remaining liquid. The rest of the options are not so flashy. Do not disturb silences all your system. Turns off everything. Hopefully, calls come in and doing it from here also activates the do not disturb mode on the iPhone. And the phone search mode makes your iPhone rings, activate the screen and vibrates and also works with the iPhone. By sweeping from left to right, we have two options which will be the weather and music player control. You really like the weather option from the animations and the whole system of detailed metrics and measurement that delivers. It is much more detailed than the applications offered by the Apple Watch. 
Here it showed the next day forecast, sunrise and sunset times, moon phase and even tide levels. Ideally if you do outdoor sport to have all that kind of information. And further down we find a small music player controller, which is very versatile. If you are listening to Spotify music it will interact with Spotify. If you listen to Apple music it will interact with Apple music without any problems. What we can criticize is that it doesn't show any cover or video which each song as music applications do or as other watches on the market that already offer these options. It should be noted that this watch allows you a store up 4 GB of music inside, so you can also insert the music you like. True Access this player can be accessed from the side menu as we have already shown you, as well as from the applications menu of the Huawei Watch GT4s that we will show you later. By sliding your finger from right to left, the powers of rings appear here. <laughs> no, just kidding. These rings that measure your sport progress during all the day appear. When we press it, it details some of the most relevant activities, such as calories burning by moving around the day, minutes of exercise that we have uh, been de developed uh, around the day, the numbers of steps taken uh, around the day, or we have been standing and more other details that you can see here on the screen. When we slide back to the right, we get more detail of each of the options show above. When we leave that view and slide to the right, we have a cover with iconography that show you a summary of many data and measurement of active and passive health all in one. The next cover show you a view more associated with the agenda and contacts as you can see there. Call from the clock, calendar, weather and music, quite an interesting cover. As we continue sliding to the right, we have a sport oriented skin, where we have iconography associated with sports such as running, hiking, biking and swimming. While the next skin shows us the face of the moon, we are in the day that we are living. Now, these covers can also be customized, just hold down the screen for a few seconds on the icon we want to modify and the watch we will show us the available options. Or we can also define if we want to keep the previously shown covers, delete them or add a new one. Here the watch shows us uh, all available configurations options and the options that can be displayed on the covers that give access to a specific application quickly, such as uh, cardiac analysis, blood oxygen, among other options. Now these covers are more associated with the development of a sport, but we also have options of for more executive covers, so to speak. The watch offers us a series of default covers that are quite beautiful and eye-catching. For the unboxing we used one, but now we are using this other one. To change the cover of configure them, it is the same process as above. Keep your finger on the screen and the option to change the cover or configure it, it appears. We can see various types of covers as you can see, and by selecting any of them, interacting with the crown. We can increase or decrease the brightness of the Watch GT4 screen. Moreover, even with a chosen one, even so, it is different of different styles, which makes it more customizable. You can choose format, shapes, change the default colors, adjust the icon of the cover, among many other things over it by the configuration section of the uh, watch cover. We can quickly check the caloric deficit dial, a dial that helps us to be aware of the calories we have uh, consumed and the one we have burning around the day, to control our weight in more intense way or we can also choose any dial that is uh, to our liking. Let's see now the response that the watch delivers and it is quite fast and responds very smoothly to all our gestures. As you can see here with the application sphere, where you can see that when you move it chosen any option, it responds quickly to any gesture that we indicate to the touch screen of the watch. Now, let's talk about the brightness of the AMOLED screen. As we mentioned before, the brightness of the screen can be regulated from the crown of the watch body in controlled conditions such as being indoors with or without artificial light. The illumination of the watch screen is excellent and has a great presentation to the user. If you have activated the screen on option, obviously the brightness of the screen dims a little so that the battery can last a little longer. 
already outdoors at noon and backlight the screen respond correctly and adequately as you can attest right now. The sunlight at noon is quite intense but still the watch screen responds with an adequate brightness that allows us to see what is being presented to us properly. Let's move on the review now to the functions that we the new Huawei Watch GT4 has inside. The first option is the stress meter and it makes sense that is the first of the options because the stress is conductive to depression and depression is conductive to suicide and it's a topic that no one's talk about. Personally, we congratulate Huawei for that because they are not only taking care of the physical health of their users, but also the mental health and we ran for the risk of getting this video down for talking about a delicate subject like this, but it's true, no one addresses this issue but it is the one of the major causes of death in the world today. In general, my stress levels detected were within acceptable range, but the watch gave me certain recommendations such as resting more hours around the day, I was sleeping an average of 4 to 5 hours a day, do more breathing exercise, get up from my chair every hour, among other things. This analysis or measurement is based on hours of sleep you have the type of sleep you have, in the background it analysis if your sleep is deep and restful or not, heart rate pulse, among other measurements. He was able to detect that my stress level was increasing and unfortunately for me it has not been good or pleasant months, therefore I sleep little, my heart races because of worry at times, I start with a slight anxiety, among other factors that I think many of us go through. Here you must take actions and measures and the watch gives you suggestions such as uh, getting up, stretching exercise, breathing or meditation to help mitigate that, but what really helps is to do a sport. That's why in the afternoons I went out cycling to disconnect from everything a little. The Huawei Health application shows you graphically your stress levels in categories such as daily, weekly, monthly, a year, and with details of the measurements. On the other hand, it has some tests that basically try to measure your sick in order to try to determine if you have some degree of depression or if you are heated for one of them. Therefore, we congratulate the work of Huawei in this area of mental health that not everyone's cover. The next function is the alarm clock, which as in any other alarm clock will activate an alarm to wake you up at the set time. This alarm is also synchronized with the smartphone, in my case to sound the alarm at the same time. Adding alarms is very simple, just press the plus button, you can choose the other and minutes of preference, either through the screen or use the crown of the watch. The next function is the timer which comes with pre-configured with timers of 1, 3, 5, 10, 15, 30 minutes on 1 hour, 2 hours or customize a timer according to your needs. As you can see, it is very easy to set the timer you need because the times are divided by hours, minutes and seconds in a kind of reel that makes it easy to manipulate as and we show you. You can manipulate from the screen or from the crown of the watch. The next function is the compass, which also works with GPS or synchronized with the GPS of your smartphone. To calibrate it, you need to make a few movements in eight and it is configured for proper use. The next function is the stopwatch, an ideal function for every athlete, where for example you can go recording different marks such as laps, faces or other necessary marks depending on the discipline you practice. The great thing is that when activated retains the typical sound of the chronometers of the gesture year, and in this function you can mark the laps by pressing the screen or pressing the crown, and to reset the marks you can press the button on the screen or the bottom below the watch body. The next function to review is the measurement of our skin temperature, a tool that is quite useful and that will constantly of by measuring your body temperature and that obviously in case of having an abnormal temperature will notify you about it. So we assume that in case you have a fever it will notify you and perhaps inform your emergency contacts.
The next function to check is the state of your heart condition. That is to say, it will be measured your heart pulse signal. For this, the first tip is that you have the watch well adjusted to your wrist. For a correct measurement, it starts a count in reverse from 3 to 0 before starting to measure, where you are asked to be still during the measurement at least 45 seconds and where it finally tells you if there are anomalies or not, which will also be reflected in the health application. Now, we mentioned it to you that there are applications that measure you health actively and just demonstrate it, and possibly, that is, it's measured you in other circumstances. And when that happened, in my case, with this positive measurement, it is discovered me and arrhythmia. Arrhythmia that occur in the early morning in certain hours of sleep. Therefore, here we can see how the levels of stress and anxiety are related and can operate in your unconscious, affecting your sleep and rest, and also affecting other parts of the body, such as in this case, the heart. This situation improved over the days as I exercised, stretched, and rode my bike. The next function of the Huawei Watch GT4 is the calendar or agenda, where it shows us the activities, agendas, and commitments of the day, something that helps us in our activities, as well as the function that we show you below, which are the phone calls. And yep, you can make calls from your Huawei Watch GT4 even using an iPhone. As you can see, I have access to the phone's call log. The next functions allow us to have a digital wallet to access our bank cards. These options don't set in in any usually, I don't do it with any device. I keep everything separate or with the least contact with my banking data, with any device of any brand. Even if the bank promised me that it's a safe way, I don't recommend storing your card data here. The next functions allow us to measure the atmospheric pressure in which we are. This function is ideal for people who practice hiking or mountaineering, or for an athlete or runner who has to prepare to run, for example, in La Paz, Bolivia, where there is a high altitude and obviously you will lack oxygen. So it's a useful tool to begin to adjust the process of adaptation that we must have to change condition of atmospheric pressure and altitude with respect to sea level. This function shows the atmospheric pressure and the altitude as which we are at the moment. Within the settings of the same, we have other options such as alert for storm warnings and pressure drops. The next function is the music player, which we had previously shown you from the left menu of the Huawei Watch GT4. And the next function is one of the biggest that the watch has, because when we enter it, opens a lot of options related to a sport. We have options such as routines and career plans or exercises, and this is where we must highlight the professional works of Huawei in the development of this smartwatch. Although it can be used by everyone, the type of user they target is the athletes, and proof of this is the tremendous clinical sports laboratory they have in Helsinki, Finland, where a large team of athletes, scientists, researchers, developers, and various professionals of the Huawei Watch GT4, researchers, developers, and various professionals from different disciplines work together so that the measurements made by this smartwatch are as accurate as possible and are adjusted as closely as possible to the computers with which high-performance athletes work in a large number of sports disciplines, considering 100 sports mode, which cover most sport disciplines. We can review some of the sport mode where many of these plans are associated with walking and running, both indoor and outdoor, cycling, swimming, mountain hiking, skiing, snowboarding, among many other sport modes. So, if you are an Olympic or Paralympic athlete and you are looking for a smartwatch to help you improve your records, you should seriously consider buying a Huawei Watch GT4. 
The next functionality is very useful in case you want to burn calories or reduce your body fat percentage. Is the calorie deficit card, which acts a kind of traffic light comparing the amount of calories ingested versus calorie burning around the day. It shows you in detail the calorie burn per day of the week the calorie consumption that you must enter through the Huawei Health Hub application and the ideal way goes we hope to reach with our physical work. The next function is breathing. Functionality that guides us in this breathing exercise to be able to relax a little in our activities, giving us a result the heart rate during the breathing exercise and the duration of the same. Now, we can configure this function so that we can modify the average number of breaths per minute and we can also modify the duration of the breathing exercise times between 1 to 3 minutes. The next function with a flower or three leaf cover shape is called complete task and that is one of the main views that appears in the Huawei Health application where each of these leaves or bubbles represent the measures of sleep, steps or physical activities and move with the detail of each of these areas and with their corresponding graph. By sweeping upwards, you can review the activities completed or recorded by the watch on the health application. The next function we have already seen previously and is the sleep quality meter, which is also associated with the cover that we showed you recently, basically repeats the same things that appears in the graph of the previous health clover. Basically repeat the same thing that appears in the graphs of the previous health clover. The function below is the activity rings that we reviewed previously and we have seen in the covers of the beginning of the video all the information it delivers. Information that is also recorded and can be reviewed in detail in the health application on the smartphone. So we will not delve further into this function. The next function is to measure blood oxygen level, a function that is active and passive. For example, here we will make an active measurement to evidence its operation. But these measurements are also made at different times of the day, even while we sleep. It is an easy analysis that only takes 25 seconds and shows the amount of oxygen in our blood. The next function is to trigger the shutter of the smartphone camera, either to record or take pictures remotely. This option also has an automatic shutter timer, so that you can pause with peace or find more of the cameras activated, an option that I use to record this video at the beginning. The next function is the notification, where it shows us all the notifications that have arrived to our smartphone and that are reflected in our smartwatch, option that we already commented and that we mentioned that with iOS at least does not have so much interaction. The next function is to display the running capacity index, exercise load, recovery phases, among other data. All this will depend on the type of exercise you are practicing. I could not test it with sports such as soccer or basketball because this matches coincided with other previously commitments that I had scheduled. So I cannot give much my opinion with this function because I didn't uh, not use in the fullest. The next function shows the numbers of beats per minute, a function that we have already shown you through the use of other functions within the same smartwatch where we can see that it's measured you have beat 24 hours a day also indicating an estimate of blood pressure and heart rate. The next function is the exercise log and it is here that all the sports activities you have done with your smartwatch are recorded. In my case, I could ride a bike and swim with this smartwatch. As you can see reflected here, each of your marks or records are stored in this function, where you can review the details of each of those sports recorders you have achieved. The next function is the contacts you have synchronized with your Huawei account, not with your smartphone account, but the contacts you have backed up in your cloud in your Huawei account. The next function is the setting, which we will not review now, but a little later because there are many options. The next function is the flashlight, which we show whether early in the top menu that the watch offers. We continue with the weather function, which is the same that appears when you swipe from the left to the right and that we also show it earlier. And finally, the phone tracking function, 
which at the time of activating this option, your smartphone starts to vibrate, to ring, and the screen is activated, making it easy to find your lost smartphone, obviously within the range that allows you to Bluetooth version 5.2, which will be about 20 meters around. And that will be all the filters offered by the new Huawei Watch GT4. Let's now move on to review the watch setting options. We can access them from the button of the bottom of the watch body, as well as by pressing the crown of the watch and accessing the year icon within the menu. The first options that show you the first option that show us are the Bluetooth connections that we can have with the smartwatch. The smartwatch only links to a single device, which is usually a smartphone. But it can also be linked to a tablet such as the Huawei MatePad 11. The option of more connections allow us to be able to connect to more devices such as accessories. The next option is the clock face and home, where the watch faces that the watch has at the moment are displayed. As we have seen before, there are also other options, and at the end, appear that home options where the function that we showed you a few moments ago are displayed, but here we configure their representation, if you want to continue seeing and accessing them through a grid or a through a list. The custom cards options that also continues to show the watch's faces. The screen and brightness options show the controls to regulate the brightness of the screen. Also, if you want to keep the automatic brightness control, screen sleep and the activate screen option, options we can choose to keep the screen always active. Then we have options of sound and vibrations, where we can define the sound volume of caption of voice transmission while exercising, which help us a lot because in case of cycling, it tells you the average speed, kilometers traveled and other data and announces them through the speaker of the smartwatch. We already saw don't disturb option, so we skip it and go to the vibration option, where we can choose whether we want the vibration of the watch to be soft, intense or not to vibrate. The mute option doesn't make sense to review, if so we skip it. And the last option is tactile response of the crown when turning it, this means that the watch will be red every time we turn the crown of the watch. The next option is PIN, which allows us to set a password to protect access to our smartwatch and configure the automatic lock on removal. The next option is Permissions Manager, in case any application requires an authentication or authorization mode through a device such as a smartwatch, for example. The next option is Notification Settings, where we can turn on or off the configuration options for notification on our watch. Further on we come across the exercise settings options, where we have the options of voice transmissions while exercising, location service, map updates by satellite, which takes a considerable time to perform such action. A screen always active when exercising, although this will obviously make the battery run out sooner. Further down, we find the option to auto-detect exercise, in order to go recording our sport records automatically and without waiting for a manual entry, or that we have to enter the sport option of the watch to tell you what sports we are going to do to start measuring. And finally, the options of the shortcuts that allow us to access more quickly to the music or metronome option to turn off both shortcuts. We continue then with the options of heart rate data transmission, where it shows us a warning that says that the heart rate data will be collected from a Bluetooth device from another manufacturer. The device will be disconnected from the health application during data transmission, but to prove it is effective, you must exercise something that is difficult to show on camera. The penultimate option is a system and update from where we can restart our watch, turning off disconnected from where we have a linked or factory reset. And finally, we have the last option, which is about, which indicates the name model, MAC address, Harmony OS version, serial number, among other data that are important to know the device in case of support or things like that. We have reviewed each of the functions and settings options of the Huawei Watch GT4, a watch that I use as my personal watch for as long as I did. And what can I tell you about it? That indeed his battery lasts 14 days actively. 
It has a good integration with iOS because, as you saw, I could make an answered calls from the same watch, receive my notifications without any problem except answering them. It helped me constantly to monitor my health. It discovered an arrhythmia in my sleep at its occurring in the early hours of the morning while I was resting. Since in physical activities, I never presented anomalies both in cycling and swimming with normal heartbeat regular oxygen levels and the health levels of any person agitated by physical activity. In addition, it measured considerable stress levels during this period of time. This month I proposed to lose 4 kilos of weight as a goal and this watch helped me to achieve it. I had not cycled for years and every day I did it was a new challenge, where the alerts on the speaker that they did was to motivate me more to break my lap times by constantly telling me the speed at which I was going, kilometers travel, average speed and other important data. That if you plan your route well before going out to ride, because in my last lap, when I was breaking my personal record for 25 kilometers, was interrupted by the unforeseen passage of the train. <laughs> so consider a lot where to make your sport route. What else can we say? anyone can use it and take advantage of it. You will find that many reviewers say it's one of the best watches around the world, and they are not lying, because it's one of the smart watches that offer more integration, have more battery life and gives you a lot of high quality features as you just saw. Now, if you take a seriously sport plan, or you want to lose weight, as I did it this month, you should practice sport often and follow the advice of the watch. Be a certain number of hours standing, walk at least 10,000 steps a day, consume few calories, drink water and have a good rest. If you don't heed these recommendations, you will only have an expensive accessory on your wrist. You should make the most of it and pay attention to the alerts or notification it gives you. Now, the target audience of this watch are athletes. So, if you are a high performance athlete, you should consider the option of acquiring one and continue improving your goals and progress. Overall, it was a pleasant experience, I enjoyed it a lot. I was surprised by the number of features and above all that was carefully with respect to the detection of arrhythmia in sleep that I was not sleeping the recommended number of hours and that I didn't have good sleep, and otherwise my stress levels were increasing. In other words, it's a great alternative for people who need to take more care and control of their health and you should consider it a great gift alternative for this incoming Christmas. Having already told my experience with this, let's go to the final conclusions indicating the good and the bad. Within the good of the Huawei Watch GT4 we have long battery life, modern and elegant design, good construction materials, good microphone and speaker, a screen with good backlit and brightness, no need to close apps in background, good integration with other brands and operating system, lots of sport modes, active and passive health measurements, good response times and great user experience, large numbers of sensors and good price. Among the bad things about the Huawei Watch GT4 we have, it doesn't include a charger, it depends too much on the Huawei Health app, for example, to enter the intake of calories and the water, because if you don't do this, it generates errors in the calculations of calorie deficit. Music app very basic, doesn't show song scores, paid covers within the Health app, we believe they should all be free not being able to interact with notification with iOS, at time it loses synchronization with iOS, and you must manually update the sync to keep the health data up to date. Overall, a tremendous watch, highly recommended, and in our opinion, is the best on the market today, considering price quality. Well friends, we have reached the end of another video telling you about our experience with the new Huawei Watch GT4, a watch of which we have told you about all these wonders and benefits which we were able to experience. 
If you like this video and you think it can be useful to someone else, please consider sharing this video. Give us a like and leave a comment to continue improving our content. Consider the option of subscribing to our channel and with all these mechanisms you will help us a lot to the YouTube algorithm show us our content and we can reach many more users. I'm Paco, this is Mr. Labros and I wait for you in the next episode where we will continue talking about some new technological products. Take care, a kiss, a hug, and we see each other in the next video. Bye bye.